Should I start a new Instagram account from scratch? This is a question I get asked all the time. And honestly, I don't blame people for asking it. It's something I wrestled with myself for the longest time. In fact, in February 28th of this year, I decided to give it a go and I started a new account from scratch. And in today's video, I'm gonna dive into why I did it, whether or not it was the right move, and if you should consider doing the same. But before getting started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I share weekly content to help you grow and monetize your personal brand on social media and beyond. And if you're into AI, I share a lot of AI driven content as well to help you optimize your strategies with AI. Just so you know, by the time I'm filming this video, my new account is about to hit 26,000 followers. So it's growing at a pretty decent rate. But also this wasn't the first account I started from scratch. This is actually the fourth account, but that is a completely different story that I will leave for another video. So let's get started with why I started a new account. In 2023, I hit a rough patch with my Instagram account. After enjoying rapid growth and crazy reach between 2021 and 2022, things just mm, slowed down. And to be honest, it was very frustrating. My business depended on this account, so I was really hesitant to start over. But by the end of 2023, I was ready for a big change. I decided to pivot my business and focus entirely on AI, a topic that I'm passionate about but hadn't really covered that much on my main account, which I had grown mostly by sharing Instagram content and social media tips. Which brings me to reason number one, pivoting your business or niche. If you're pivoting your niche, reworking your offers, changing your messaging, it might make sense to start fresh and retrain the algorithm from scratch. And that's exactly why what I did. I felt that this whole new focus on AI needed its own space, free from the expectations of my previous content. If you're thinking about doing the same, I have an entire mini course where I walk you through every step of the process of starting a new account and growing it with ChatGPT. I'm sharing a link in the description so that you can go grab it after you finish watching this video. Reason number two, past mistakes ruining your algorithm. Let's be real. If you've ever bought followers, used power likes, joined engagement pods, or done any illicit activity to boost your account, you might have damaged your algorithm beyond repair. I was guilty of this with my very first account and it left me with what I can only describe as a dead account. No matter what I try, I just couldn't revive it. In cases like this, starting from scratch might be the best solution for moving forward. It gives you a clean slate and a chance to grow authentically. Reason number three, your audience isn't buying what you're selling. If you've tried every strategy in the book, but you still haven't made any sales, it could just mean that your audience is not interested in what you're offering. This scenario is quite common for personal accounts that pivoted to business accounts because most of your audience is gonna be made of family members, friends, and acquaintances. And honestly, they're not your ideal clients. So why would they engage or buy your products? It is a tough pill to swallow, but sometimes the best move is to start from scratch. If you do start from scratch, you can focus on creating rapid growth content like reels that attract your ideal clients, ideal followers, and then nurture them with other types of content to finally turn them into customers. Now let's talk about when you shouldn't start a new account. Honestly, the previous are the only three reasons why I would suggest you start a new account from scratch. If your account growth is stagnant or if you took a very long break, these issues can be fixed without starting over. Remember, if your account isn't growing but you're still making sales, you're still winning. It's all about working with what you have and optimizing it before throwing in the towel. Now let's talk about a little experiment that I did. Even though my new account is in a completely different niche, both my old and my new account funnel traffic into the same offer, the AI Creator Academy. Usually I post different content on both accounts, but every now and then, especially when I'm doing promotions, I will post the same piece of content on both accounts separately, not as collaborators, separately. What's mind blowing is that most of the times my new account has gotten better non-follower reach better engagement and has brought in more followers with the exact same piece of content. Here are two examples. In this first example, this video got me 4.4 thousand views, 91 likes, 237 comments, 25 shares, 98 saves, and it got me nine followers 
on the new account and on the old account it got only 3.1 thousand views 135 likes so a few more likes on the new one 109 comments 58 saves 22 shares and only two new followers bear in mind that the old account has 10 times more the followers than the new account and this other video which is mind-blowing it on the new account it got me 2.2 million views 9.6 thousand likes 2.6 thousand comments 10,000 shares and 31,000 saves. It also brought over 6,000 new followers. Whereas in the old account, it only got 80,000 views, 922 likes, 222 comments, 1.9 thousand saves, 1,000 shares, and only 171 followers. And I've talked about this in previous videos, but this reminds me that Instagram does prioritize newer accounts so sometimes starting from scratch is not that bad after all only if you do it the right way strategically with the right content now to wrap up if you've been considering starting a new account from scratch before jumping in take some time to consider whether or not your account does need a full reset there's a lot of things that you can do to revive a stagnant account like improving your profile i shared a video about that last week which i'm linking above improving your content strategy, or using innovative growth and strategy tools like ChatGPT. Speaking of which, I use ChatGPT to build, optimize, and grow this new account with very little effort, and it's been a game changer. So I've put everything into my mini course, the IGA Accelerator, where I walk you through every step of the process with tutorials so that you can apply all the strategies in real time. It's super easy to digest, and it's going to get you results instantly. So once again, I'm sharing a link to this course in the description. Go grab it now, start testing, improving your profile, improving your content strategy, and I promise you'll see the results that you desire. Now, before going, thank you for staying until the end. Don't forget to give those thumbs up if you learned something new. Share with me in the comments what was your biggest takeaway from this video. Share this video with a friend who might be considering starting a new account from scratch. And don't forget to subscribe because I share weekly videos on how to grow and monetize on social media with AI. See ya!